Hello, Dr. Game Matt here, and today we're talking about who is your favorite? Who's your favorite character in the CW Arrowverse? And so, um, I've got Green Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, and White Canary of their respective shows. And so, um, the Green Arrow, Oliver Queen, we're going to denote as an A. Uh, the Flash, Barry Allen, we're going to do as an F. Supergirl Carl Danvers is going to be an S, and White Canary Sarah Lance is going to be a WC, because I felt like that was the best way to do it. And so, basically what I want to do today is I want to talk about fans who rank order their favorite heroes from best to least, right? And we love all of these, and so what we're going to say is that they're still awesome, but maybe less awesome than someone else in our opinion okay and so um we're going to use this to talk about voting methods and today we're starting a series of videos related to voting methods and there are four methods we're going to cover in this series the first one we're going to cover is plurality in future videos i'm going to cover plura plurality with elimination the boredom method and pairwise comparison but in this video, we are basically just tackling the plurality method of determining the winner. And so why am I starting with the plurality method? Well, the plurality method is actually the easiest to understand and compute. Voters select one candidate from all of the choices and cast a single vote for that candidate. And you add up all the votes for each candidate and whomever has the most votes wins. Now, in our example for today, I asked sort of, 162 CW Arrowverse fans to rank order the show's main hero from favorite to least favorite. And again, we still love these people. They're just not uh, our super favorite, right? Okay. Now, the table shows those results. And because I'm rank ordering it, all right? And remember, the, the letters are above, but remember, this is Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and White Canary. Now, I had them rank order these, and so 57 students voted in the order of Flash, Arrow, um, Supergirl, and White Canary. 45 fans voted Supergirl, Arrow, White Canary, Flash in this particular order, and then 33 fans this way, 21 fans this way, and 6 fans this way. So you can see there's a little bit of diversity. Now, this is made up. I, I am making this up to illustrate something. This is probably not how fans would rank order these, um, but this is what we're going to do for our example. All right, so working it out, what do I do? Well, remember, the plurality method is actually only concerned with who earns the most votes. All right, so basically, I just need this top row, whoever is the favorite. Okay, now. Adding all the votes for Supergirl in the second and last column. So Supergirl was first uh, with 45 votes, and she was also first with six votes. It's just the rest of the um, characters are in a different order, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add those votes for Supergirl, and we're going to end up with 51. And so we obtain the following result. Flash gets 57 total votes. Supergirl gets 51 total votes. White Canary has 33 total votes, and Green Arrow has 21 total votes. And so, what's the solution? The Flash wins. He has the most votes in this particular method. All right? So, what's the conclusion here? So, while the plurality method is the easiest, it does have some drawbacks when there are multiple candidates and we're doing this rank ordering. We're going to explore that as we move through the series. Um, because what we're going to find out is that other people win under other conditions. But for now, if this video helped you with the plurality method of voting, that makes us happy. And so please share with someone that could benefit from this uh, type of voting method. Leave a comment with your favorite Arrowverse or DC hero, and maybe I'll come back with a follow-up video based on your votes. And uh, I will definitely be back with a new video on plurality with elimination very soon.